This is our new Armor UV filter and I'm going to show you what it takes to make it look like this. Spoiler alert, it takes a lot. So our new Armor UV filter is using tempered glass. So this is going to be about four times stronger than normal filter glass, which is perfect because your UV filter is essentially only used to protect the lens from whatever hits it like this. So the idea is your filter protects it or it breaks instead of your $2,000 lens breaking and having to replace that. Now, traditionally UV filters block UV light. These also block UV ultraviolet light, but modern cameras, you don't even really need to. They all have UV built into them, so it doesn't matter. So today UV filters are just used to protect your lens, like I just said. Now these ones are made out of our cinema series glass, but it's tempered. So it's going to be a lot stronger, but it's got 99% transmission. So when you put it on there, it doesn't affect the image quality at all. Now let's get into the fun part, the braking tests. Okay. Let's start with our first test. We're going to use the 12 millimeter wrench. Let's see what happens. Pretty good. Pretty strong. What should we do next? Let's try the old, oh, the motorcycle boot test. Let's see. Still good, still good. Haven't broken it yet. Let's move on to, oh, look, an ax. Uh, this one's probably gonna do it. Let's, let's test and see. Yeah, the ax got it. But now, hey, look at this. You've got a really sick FX filter now that you can play around with. Okay, we'll try the two by four test. Still good, we'll give it another hit just to make sure. Still good, ready to shoot. All right, so there you have it. The Armor UV filter successfully passed the wrench smack test, the boot smash test, and the two by four smackdown, but it was no match for the 30 pound Gerber ax. I didn't think it was going to pass this one. This thing's pretty, pretty strong. So, but it, it, nonetheless, it's going to add an extra layer of lens protection to your lens. So ideally the filter is going to break, leaving behind a sick FX filter, um, and making sure your lens is perfectly safe from big impacts. Now, if you have any questions on the filter, shoot us an email, happy to answer them for you. And we'll see you on the next one.